Welcome back. I'm Dr. April Strom, and in this next example, I'm gonna show you how to integrate by parts when you have a function that involves, in this case, an exponential. Okay, so it actually works very similarly like the other problems where you still have to figure out what is the first function, let that be our u, and then connect up with the second function as your v prime, and write that out just so that everything is nice and organized. So let's let x be our u. And of course that means we need to find what u prime actually is, which we love it because it's just one. And then the second function e to the x will be our v prime. And now I need to think about, well, what's the antiderivative of e to the x? Well, this is one of the things that we love, love, love about e to the x is that its derivative and its antiderivative are still just e to the x. So awesome. So now I know what my u, v, u prime, v prime all are. So now I go back to the problem and I say, okay, I need to carry on and say, according to the formula, u times v comes next. So that's these parts here that get multiplied together. So I have an x times an e to the x. Subtract off the integral of u prime times v. So those two functions that get multiplied together as the integrand, one times e to the x. Well, one times e to the x is just e to the x. Of course, times our dx that's here. And then now I've got to finish off this integral part that's here. Well, that's not too bad of a problem. The integral of e to the x, we actually just technically did it here in blue. The integral of e to the x is simply just e to the x. So to finish this off, rewrite your x e to the x minus the answer here for the integral of e to the x dx is again, just e to the x. And because you have an indefinite integral, you have to add your c on to the end. And that's it for this particular problem that involves an exponential. So pretty straightforward in terms of that. We love when the e to the x's kind of come up in our problem, or at least the majority of the time. In my next video, you'll see an example of where an e to the x comes up, but it's not going to be connected with just an x. And so well, a few other things kind of come into play there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to click on the Advantage logo at the bottom to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.